And now here's another one. This is the FBI building. It's about four blocks away from the White House on Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, it's a disaster. <laughs> I don't mean that like metaphorically, the FBI is a disaster. I mean like literally their building is a catastrophe. For years now, they've had nets up on the outside of the building to catch bits of the building as they fall off. So those bits don't crumble and crush people on the street below. That's what those are. Those are nets that you could see there. When President Trump took office, the government plan for dealing with the crumbling FBI building was that they were going to do kind of a swap with a private developer. Um, the government, the General Services Administration, they were going to hire a private developer to build the FBI a brand new, sprawling, high security campus somewhere in the D.C. suburbs. They had a few different sites picked out as possibilities. And then essentially as part of the payment for doing that work, what the private developer would get is the, forgive me, crappy, falling apart FBI building, which nobody wants, but the private developer would be allowed to tear it down and replace it on Pennsylvania Avenue with a big mixed use private development of their choice. Prime real estate on Pennsylvania Avenue, four blocks away from the White House. It's a big site, it is a prime location, Everybody involved in this plan knew to expect that an expensive, mixed-use, private, high-dollar development at the site of the current FBI building would almost inevitably include a fancy new luxury hotel. So that's, that's where they're going. The problem with that, now that Donald Trump is president, is that the site of the FBI building is only about a block away from the newest big luxury hotel in that part of Washington, D.C., which is the Trump Hotel in the old post office. You're going to give the president's brand new hotel, brand new primo real estate competition right across the street while Trump is president? Really? I mean, obviously, he should be completely divorced from any considerations that might affect his bottom line and his business there. But this is the Trump administration. A few months after Trump was sworn in, his administration announced an unexpected change in plans for the FBI building. Turns out, forget it. Forget the thousands of hours and millions of dollars that have been spent planning for this. There's, we're changing course. There's not going to be a new private development and a new hotel on the site of the old FBI building after all. Everybody involved in the original plan is dumbfounded. All the sites in the suburbs that were being considered for the new FBI campus were like, what? We've done all this planning. The General Services Administration, which is the part of the administration that's responsible for making this decision, they're sort of at pains to explain why the FBI building is going to be rebuilt on site now, why they've changed their minds so abruptly after all this work to go with this totally different plan. In April of this year, the head of the GSA, a Trump appointee named Emily Murphy, she got called before Congress. Uh, to explain what happened, she said repeatedly that the dramatic change in plans was because um, that's what the FBI asked for. Involved with briefing you or to your knowledge, did the president or any of the other officials at the White House consult with any of these other agencies in the decision making process? Uh, sir, the FBI was the one who came to me again to your knowledge. Was the president or anyone at the White House involved in those discussions, either with your predecessors or people you're with, working with now or yourself? Uh, sir, to my not, the, the dis, dis direction that we got came from the FBI. The, the, it was the FBI that directed GSA as to what its requirements would be. The White House took the same line, putting out a statement saying the whole reason this plan changed for the FBI building had nothing at all to do with the president trying to line his own pockets and block competition for his new hotel in which he still has a controlling financial interest. No. The White House put out an official statement saying the president was simply following the recommendation of the FBI. He had no involvement in this decision otherwise. We now know, in fact, that the president was directly involved in this decision. In fact, it appears that he ordered this decision which has the effect of benefiting his hotel and his own financial bottom line. It appears that his appointee to run this agency lied to Congress directly when she told them that it was the FBI and definitely not the White House directing this decision. And we know this because Congressman Elijah Cummings and other Democrats decided that, OK, this is one we'll fight. And they confronted the White House about it and they pulled together the evidence. And it appears today that they just secured a smoking gun, including this photograph, which proves what the president did here and what his official lied to Congress about. 
both the proverbial smoking gun and Congressman Cummings here next. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.